Now let's switch out to Core, who's keeping track of the traffic on the roads. Hi, Core. Hi, Jeff and Ann. You know, if you're driving around town today and you thought the traffic was a little bit heavier than normal, you, you may be right. A new report is out this week, and it says the following, that uh, traffic in the Portland metro area on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, that's today, is amongst the worst traffic areas in the entire nation. The Seattle area traffic analytics firm this week released a report concluding that Portland has the second worst day before Thanksgiving traffic congestion of any city in the country behind only Los Angeles. The report also forecasts drivers in Portland will spend 35% more time stuck in holiday traffic today than they would on an ordinary Wednesday commute home. So I turned to an expert on traffic congestion, a former San Francisco commuter, Suzanne Pfeiffer, who only moved here six months ago. She says she is not so sure that Portland is all that bad. Big city traffic, San Francisco, in your estimation, is still worse than it is Absolutely. here? Absolutely. As Absolutely. much as we complain about it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Suzanne says her daily commute to Vancouver is still better than the two and a half hour commute time she put in in the Bay Area every day. Today, she says, probably won't be much different in either city. Yeah, but I can't believe that, though. Los Angeles. I stopped a package delivery guy whose first name was Oleg, and I asked him what he thinks about Portland's new distinction as the second worst holiday commuting city in the country. You drive around all day. Yes, sir. Does this report surprise you at all? No, not at all. I-5, you see I-5? This is the perfect view because you see I-5. This gets clogged all the way from back there to Willigar Curves, all the way to uh, the interstate, I mean. I also asked AAA's Marie Dodds about today's traffic. She says that more and more cars will be on the road this Wednesday before Thanksgiving. The result, she says, of a stronger economy and lower gas prices. The lower gas prices are like a holiday bonus for Thanksgiving travelers because it means they have extra money in their pocket to spend on other things like travel, like shopping, like dining. And so we are seeing more people travel this year because of these cheaper gas prices. And a lot of people out on the road. You're looking at a live picture. This is traffic. We're in Vancouver right now. The headlights you see are coming from Portland here in the northbound lanes of I-5. This company, Inrix, Jeff and Ann, put this study together using that information they get out of those uh, the, the in-ground uh, in ground recording devices in the freeway. They're embedded in the freeway. They put Portland's traffic again on Wednesday before Thanksgiving ahead of San Francisco, Seattle, New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. It's a pretty dubious distinction, but Portland... Uh, second worst traffic city behind only Los Angeles. We're live here in Vancouver tonight, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. All right, Cor, if you're driving by, Cor, give him a honk and a wave tonight. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do um, it. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke here with a look at the uh, how the weather is going to affect the travel this holiday. So right weekend. now, really no concerns. In fact, most of the region looking good. I have a look right now at the very current, the very latest flight delays for San Francisco, SeaTac, Denver, Portland, zero delay right now. So we're looking really good thanks to the weather. All of the active weather is back across the Midwest and back towards the Northeast where snow is just pounding much of New England right now. It's going to continue to do that through the overnight hours, not winding down really until early tomorrow morning for Maine where uh, we could be waking up to maybe a foot of snow up in that area. Other places picking up three to six inches of snow. So here we are dry. We're going to continue to stay dry through most of the evening. Very mild too, 57 degrees. Uh, as we head through the next few hours, Temperatures stay mainly in the mid to upper 50s. We're staying quiet. Late tonight, we'll have to watch for showers and move in. You can see them just off the coast here. So that's headed our way, and that will bring in a few showers for your Thanksgiving. Here's a look at your weather headlines. Showers uh, start to develop uh, oh, late tonight through Thanksgiving. It stays light. Friday, very wet. Shower, steady rain likely for most of the day. And then we get this cold air moving in on Saturday. Could even bring a few snowflakes here for the metro area, mixing in with the rain. Should be a big deal for us, but you know what that means. You get through the gorge and you get up to the Cascades, and that could impact travel in those locations. So right now, it looks like the best travel day for the weekend, maybe Sunday, the full breakdown coming up. All right, as Kristen just mentioned, that nor'easter is really messing up flights back east on this busy travel day. So we sent our Tim Becker to PDX. We're seeing something entirely different. Tim. Yeah, you know, some airports back east are still packed with travelers, and delays there can run past two hours. There have also been hundreds of cancellations. But here at PDX, take a look around. Things are really going quite smooth for what is normally one of the busiest days of the year. 
We had a busy morning today. Today is one of the busier day. We'll probably be pushing about 50,000 travelers today. For all the hustle and bustle, the checking in and checking out of IDs by the TSA and lugging of luggage today at PDX, the place has also been pleasantly peaceful. And it's not so crowded right now. It's actually pretty empty, which I'm surprised. We found U of O freshman Taylor Jackson on her way to Texas. Her first solo plane trip ever. Well, have you ever traveled on Thanksgiving before? Never. Nope. This will be a first time. So, and it's by myself. So we'll see. Lucky for her, she's not headed back east, where foul weather is tying up travelers from the Dakotas through the Upper Midwest and Northeast. A nor'easter forcing more than 600 delays, and the count continues to rise. One look at the schedules, though, at PDX shows how lucky most travelers here are today, though Reagan Ellis. The delay in, in um, Austin caused us to like almost missed our connection. Did have a little too much holiday hustle traveling through Denver to get here. What was the Denver airport like? I know you were there for just a couple of minutes, but. Um, no, it was super crowded, wasn't it, girls? Yeah, very crowded, <laughs> very crowded, yeah. And everybody looks like they were all boarding, trying to get where they needed to go. She passed up a $500 voucher at one point to stay on an overbooked flight with her daughters. Airport officials here want you to know, as crowded as it can be today and tomorrow, Sunday will be even worse. Well, we advise travelers to always take a look at the travel tips before they come here. We see a lot of families and infrequent travelers this time of year. Well, I just checked the flight board here, and there's been just one cancellation in the last hour. That is from San Francisco, due in about 6.30 normally. One can assume that is not weather-related. Delays, though, a couple flights from Boston due in around 8. Won't be here till around 10 or a little after 10. Same thing, about an hour, hour and a half delay for a couple flights coming in here from Chicago. But other than that... Things pretty much on time tonight. West Coast weather holding up for everybody. We're going to continue to monitor the situation and have an update for you on Coin 6 News at 6. Live at PDX, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.